All right. A new day. New goals, new dreams, new ambitions. We didn't find that. We didn't we didn't do the bridge extract. So, 25,000 XP away from level 40. And our weekly will give us 34,000 XP. <sighs> Let's look at all the tasks that we can do that we know that's going to get us... I think I think we should focus on getting living highs, not a crime done. Right? Part two, because it's just teapots and parrots. Like, how hard? Right? Living high is not a crime. Get that done. Gunsmith is annoying. I did ask Nikita to add a P226R to the actual barter trades, but... What's your plans after hardcore? Film lots of guides. Film so many guides. Farm bosses bullshit. I am keen to give it a go. Why don't we just start with bullshit? <laughs> what is it? An SV98? How many SV98s do you think we have? Just a way to start the day. <laughs> if it goes well, then we know it's going to be a great day. All right, so I could just, it'd be so heavy. And then we just need a roller. They see me rolling. Is this insane? Is this insanity? All right, we're only allowed to shoot players. We're so heavy. Do we have an SJ6 ready? No. No SJ6s. All right, let's do it. I'm pretty sure, right, with this task, once you place them down, EFT wiki, bullshit. I'm pretty sure once you place it down, you don't need to survive. Even after placing the items, killing any scabs will result in fail. Do not kill any scabs until you have left the raid and turned the quest in. You may die by any means and still complete the quest. Yeah, so I can, I could still die after it. Okay, good spawn. Wait, no, bad spawn. Bad spawn. Fuck. I thought it was at um the other side of the map. Alright, no boss, that's good. This armor is gonna make me go so slow. Try pre-med. I almost feel like I should. Cover right there. Hortic, thanks for the six months. Barbecue, Kip, thanks for the seven months. Please, no bully. Perfecta, thanks for the 10 gifted subs.
Town front looks like Lord of the Rings. I saw Sauron. Alucard, 3600, thanks for the prime. Once I get up to the top of third, I just need no one camping the top of third. Pretty please. Lottie man with the ten gifted, Samot with the five gifted. Thanks so much, guys. off so bullshit <sighs> it's so fucking rage inducing night time a player shooting me through the trees into the head whilst i'm sprinting wonderful first raid of the day i was i did everything of that right i went through all the trees i staved up my stamina so i was sprinting at the right times went i went to the day to the night to daytime conversion Everything was lined up right for it. Just rage inducing. How could you wait till normally the fighting's over? Like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna run under the pier. It's so not under the pier, under the bridge. And then you gotta, you gotta do that at night time. And you gotta do it quickly. Otherwise you get caught out with people and scabs. You don't want scabs everywhere. Otherwise you'd, you're gonna be fucked. We need two more Melboros. I would have no problem if there was a guy just in dorms camping dorms. But when they're like shooting you through the trees like that, it just demoralizes the fuck out of you. It literally just makes you feel like, I can guarantee you he didn't have a thermal. No, he didn't have a thermal. I can see his profile. All right. We've got a lot of things to do in reserve. We just got to get lucky though. Need two hard drives. And we need blue tape.
Sam the Stan. Thanks for two months, dude. All right. Taylor Swift, shake it off, move on. Keep going. There's actually... We all right loot in this room. It used to be. This is like way back in the day. This one used to be risky because back in the day people would people would camp and snipe from the top. Just need hard drives. So on the map? I don't think so. On dead pawn. I just went um customs to try and do bullshit and died to a guy shooting me through trees at night time. One bullet to the head. He missed a couple of shots first. But... Was pretty sussy. Yep. Hopefully not a... Not a reference of what's to come today. I finally got my uh, next letter, so... If I could get two more hard drives, I've got... Um, Intel set of level 2 upgrading. There is so much, so much gunfire over there. Part of me just wants to get a win under my belt. The part of me wants to go over there and try and get the slops. We need the USBs for um, M1A barters and we need the blue tape for the weapon stand. If we get these two blue tape out, I think then we only need one more of the, um, not the shush, but the other one. I feel like we needed two more helixes. Mm. 
There's duffel bags up here. Yeah. Oh, and I definitely need a, two more helixes for something. What task am I doing? Um, I don't actually know. Small dub. I think I think if we want to get good progress today, we just got to go with lots of small dubs and not try and... Like, you know, our example was yesterday when we were on Lighthouse and I killed those two players up top and I was like, you know what, I'll still go up to the chalet and then I ran into that two man. Like, just getting those two players, I should have just got out their loot until I get another stockpile of armors and gear and stuff. Because right now I'm really low in armor. Like, I don't have any armors. I don't have really any bare rigs. I've got a few barters for them and that. I've got no backpacks. I think a, a series of small wins today could could actually lead up to a, like a lot of like progression over tomorrow. Let's just try and go like any any sort of small win we can take. Let's take it and then we'll go from there. Um. So yeah, we got water treat uh, water collector up. Is that the game beeping? I've never how have I never never heard that beep? Fucking freaked me out. Oh, that was, that was the helix. Okay, that, that's the two helixes that I needed. I need a thermometer, a white tube, and a helix. So that's done. And we also got... There's two that I upgrade. Oh, I got rest space done. All right, so we also need to get this done. One green diary and two tech manuals. One green, two tech. And that's a huge one because that gives practical skills leveling and also extra XP. So if we do actually go for Kappa, this one actually help a lot. Um, we're gonna have to find heaps of these. If we wanted to get that done. We might as well collect the five because I've got, I've got the dollars. And this just needs one more of uh, the ceiling foam now. This was the motors and that. Yeah, I dude, I must have must be the hideout volume. Let's turn that off. Yeah. Um Intel Center. We just need uh one, uh two more hard drives. We have a lot of tasks for reserve at the moment, so that's why I'm going there. We've got safe corridor, which is five scabs underneath. We've got the uh Inventory check, got Raiders down the bottom, and then we've got Glucker. We can probably go this one. But it, it, Reserve is a good place for us to try and get those diaries and stuff. We also need two more Merboros to get another SV-98. I've had I've had the Mad bar Barters before. Like, you know how there's um there's Barters in the game for the AS Val stuff? That wasn't originally Barters. That was originally just your buy them. But BG made them Barters for me. Which kind of just, you know... Makes it so other people have to do the barters as well. It's another element to the game for other people, but it, it it did make it so everyone who did a hardcore playthrough actually had access to getting them. Because I know like Deadly Slob, for example, did so many uh, runs. This is like years ago. He probably spent like a week just farming the, um, the ASVAL grip. This is a yucky spawn. I 
could go from here to underneath. That's all the blue tape we needed, but just in case we'll grab another. Can I have some hard drives, please? Might need to go to the building on the other side. I found this one three times now. Give me the other ones. Vodka's turned into Valdez, which is nice. Thanks for the entertainment as always, Pest. Nice, I watch dude. a lot of your content while working and exercising. Happy hunting today. Cool. My pleasure, mate. We need one more. It's another rig. Gun. Missed an MPX, mate. You know? No fucking way.
Bruh. Now I just got to find the rest of the gun. I had I had a 226R with a threaded barrel and I accidentally used it. <laughs> How the fuck am I going to get another one? I'm pretty sure you can. I can get um, the muzzle from another barter trade on a Glock. So I just need to find... Glock. Is it this one? Is that not it? Correct. Correct. Is it this one? It's not compatible. I thought. Specific to 226. Okay. And I'm guessing there's no bars to 226 at all. So I need. I, I, I can get four knives and I need to start finding all these other parts. It's my dailies. I got the exact same task again. What's the supply department director's office key? Two factories. I don't want to go factory. Eliminate any PMC with a headshot on wood. <sighs> All right, we've got one of the hard drives. We need one more hard drive. You know, tar bank, not tar bank, sorry, the tar, the, 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 the terror group oh, armory, this one. Dead point is actually really solid to getting M4s and other guns too. It's got a lot of crates in there. Hey, Pest, I'm wondering to, uh, to buy Tarkov. The only thing holding me back right now is the cheating situation. How is it right now? I've had two sus deaths in 300 raids on my hardcore account. And on my main account, depending on the, the server, it's quite often it feels painful. I honestly think unless you're chasing PvP, you won't run into it that much. Or you're running really sweaty gear all the time. Like I almost feel like, you know that last raid where I ran into the dorms? The one that was sussy this morning. I reckon if I ran into doors without a good armor on and a good helmet on, that guy would have left me alone. It was just fact that like, he's like, oh, he's got that big fuck off armor and a eulach and shit. I think cheaters generally don't try and just wipe lobbies. I think they just try and play the game and just do their own thing in general. But the problem is, dude, if you go into the mindset, it's like, I wonder if I'm not going to buy the game if there's a bad cheating situation. Any online competitive-ish FPS game is going to have a bad cheating situation. It's just what it is. Like you go play Call of Duty or CS or Valorant or whatever. I hear mixed messages about Valorant. Like some people saying like, I never see a cheater. And then other people saying like, there's still cheaters everywhere. Even non-PVP games. Well, the people cheated in Fall Guys, right? Like even people cheat in Age of Empires. I've had multiple people cheat in Age of Empires, which is fucking insane. I'd love it like if someone out there started selling cheats. Right. And part of them selling their cheats is like they have it hidden inside the cheat that at a certain point it just bricks people's computers. But like they sell like 10, 20, 30,000 of them first. And then in the code it says, all right, at this point, just fucking full and brick their computer. Like on this, this point of this day, every person on that cheat gets, gets hit with it. Oh, that would make me so fucking happy. I would like to see hackers hack into a cheating website and then... <laughs> Update the cheat <laughs> to, to do that. And if it costs people thousands of dollars, honestly, I'd fucking be fine with it. Need one more hard drive. And then Intel Center's upgrading. Don't think I need that.
I need Malboros and I need... Hard drive. Need one of these white tubes too. Even if I don't play past max traders, it'd still be nice to have the hideout, like a little bit further upgraded. I, I honestly think I will come back and do Kappa or at least start progressing towards it. But I, I do need to have a break from hardcore and actually work on other guides and stuff. Sounds like it's underneath, but I don't know if it's underneath this one or not. Hello? Gun. Hello? Did you guys hear something? Does it? Which one's got better durability? I'm gonna go downstairs and get killed by a gear player. I heard someone talking. Come on, bro. Told you. It's annoying. He talked and then he didn't respond. I kept asking. I should just get the max of these every time they come off. Cool down because I need them. Do you recommend this game for casuals? If you play like an hour a week, no. If you play like four to six hours a week, I think you can get some sort of enjoyment. But you need to, you need to put enough time into it to actually learn the game. Tarkov is not the kind of game where it's like, for example, like Apex Legends, where it's pretty obvious what you need to do. Survive and just shoot shit. Pick up some more guns, shoot some more shit. Whereas like Tarkov, it's like you could try and survive, but you won't know where to go. You won't even know where to extract. You won't even know how to heal. You won't know how to do anything. Like it's, you know what I mean? Like, so... It takes a, ser a certain amount of effort to even be able to play Escape from Tarkov. So, yeah, I think casuals can get enjoyment from the game, but it, they need to at least put the time in to learn the game, which could be 40 hours to get to the point where you actually understand how the game works. But yeah, it's if you're only going to play like an hour a week, I don't think you'd get any enjoyment out of it. Just frustration. This is not Thank the spawn that I want. Content, less than three it's a really bad spawn for me. Because of you, like two minus three years ago, still suck at it, but I really enjoy it. XD. 
Nice, dude. Maybe I should just go straight underneath. I'll check these crates and... Check the cages and then go down. Then that way, at least if we kill scars, we're killing them for the progression. I don't need this at all, and I don't need that. What's your fav spot to do? Shoot a born on shoreline, or do you roam, struggling for my last two low? Uh, I generally just roam, but um. I think that new area is going to get more and more popular. And most certainly could work to your advantage. You know they're going to... If people go to that new area, they're going to go to the car. Ten rounds in a dream. PSV1 key on me? Okay, apparently I don't have the PSV1 key on me. Need advice on how to survive five in a row in Tarkov. Don't spend too long on the map. Now I know where I'm doing shooter born now. But you could, if you did this, you could wait for someone to open a, like you just not move, and then you wait for someone to go to open a cage, and then you just snap them in the head. <laughs> That's if you really wanted to. Tuscan, how you going, mate? I'm just waiting for scabs. I've got to get my scav kills down here. Forgot to charge my um, mouse as well.
grava. Texas Viper thinks they're 26 months. I might try and make my way over to um, see if the old rooms are open. T-plugs. Dan Ross takes the four months. That's another SV98, and that's another, that's the Intel Center. Should we go check all rooms or just get out now? That is the question. Was it one black diary and, and one green? I don't remember now. No, it was tech manual. I think I could go check. That building for orbs, see if they're open. And if they are, we could go to the other one. I fucking hate this window now, the vaulting's in the game. open. Hello, please let me in there. There's a good chance the other two orb doors are open.
That that sounded like a grenade launcher, yeah. I want to go check the other rooms, but not while that player's just sprinting over here to kill me. Someone's popped a flare. Wrecker... Wreckerson? Thanks so much for the uh, eight months. Locked. Isn't this the one I need to get in? So dead. Do I talk to him? Nah, it's definitely not a motion. Oh, he's on the roof. I think he just went on the roof. Excuse me, sir. Hundred percent, someone on the roof. That guy just went up on the roof.
I don't have the ammo for this. For one mag. definitely two on top one down bottom He went past me? No way. No way. Metal Gear Solid shit. <laughs> huh? What was that noise? Where's your cardboard box? It's right there, mate. <laughs> One minute.
So he's on the bottom floor of the other end staircase. But I reckon there's two more dead, there's two dead players. This guy was sniping at stuff over here too. Oh, there's the crate, that's why. If I had a scope, when they run over to run, loot the crate, I could 100% shoot at them, but... There's a dead dude on the crate. they moved that sounds like they're gunfire Next to seven months. Hello? I think they left. I think they went underneath.
I had a red rebel. It's a Karasa there. Actually sounds like they're trying to head to D2. Is the LBT? It's a backpack. So I guess the question is, do we look at the airdrop? There's a dead dude on the airdrop. a dragon egg. I'm not gonna be able to fit both. One, two, three, no. Scavs can't use D2, can they? Like, I never scav this map. Those two mega chads went out through D2. So they would have cleared any, any people camping it. Or died to them. At least that's the theory.
if they were camping it, but there's no point the sweaty ch chads camping it if their objective of this raid was to get pest control done, which is what they were trying to do, I think. They were they, were, they called in an airdrop. They called in an airdrop to get pest control done. Uh, Scabs attracted the airdrop to just bait play Scabs. Bait play Scabs. Small wins. Yeah. Whoa, that was a big win. That was an intense raid. I was like, I've got my hard drive now. We're good. <laughs> Didn't even kill a player <laughs> or a Scab. But what we did get is we got two of the um we got two of the orb rooms done. We got two of the orb rooms done and we got uh, a heap of items needed. So now we only gotta do the other ones for inventory check, which is nice. Tactical espionage. Did he straight up run past me, did he? You gotta see the clip. Can someone show me the clip? Oh, he ran yeah, he did. Just on my left. I see what I thought is he ca was starting to come up. See, I thought he was starting to come up and then he turned around or something. That's why I was like, fuck, that scared me. There you go. French tray. <laughs> Jeez, that could have got messy very quickly. All right, we've got heaps of um, face coverings for. Uh, oh, fuck. Um, I was getting face coverings for... My brain is just cooked right now, hey. Punish part four. All right. Intel Center will be done in six hours. The next priority needs to be this library, which is one green, two tech manuals. And also one Zenmorph stealing phone. Sure one is where we're gonna get the most progress fast. It's just it's painful. Oh, let's put the backpack st backpack stack in that. 